In this video, I would like to show you how to build this scene. This is a project overview, not a tutorial, because it takes a lot of time to find proper values, proportion and elements. That's why I upload the project. And now let's start to investigate what elements we use here. We should start with textures that used in this project. The first one is round dots. I lost letter D. This is polar coordinates applied to JS placement generate textures dot grid preset. This is the flare with polar coordinates effect. Polar coordinates contain mode that convert rectangle to polar. You can try just create optical flares, then adjust a polar coordinates or create adjustment layer with polar coordinates set to 100% in strength and rectangle to polar mode. You will see how to achieve this spin effect. Then cell render. I'll show you how to create this map. And basic surface imperfection from CC0 textures. I will upload all links to all materials I use. Some are free and some are purchased. And then a basic seamless texture. Let me show you how to create this cell render texture. For example, we have a geometry. Let me disable this. Going to camera, going to top view, going to render settings, change to standard, film aspect to one, effect, cell render, swap the colors, rearrange camera to zero, zoom in or zoom out in this case, and just hit render. You will get this type of complex texture you can use. Let's go back to our scene and let's start from the scratch. I will disable all elements and on the dome light. And let's start to appear our elements. Tube, cylinder, tube, And I use incondensed material with texture loaded into the ramp, into the alpha. It creates semi-transparent zone. And you see that these tubes have complex textures on it. The main material is base plastic. This is blending of gray color, Fresnel going to ramp and this uh, recoloring to blue, it creates fall off. Add mode composite going to diffuse and this texture that's surface imperfection with gamma override loaded into the bump with negative value and to the ramp to create roughness variation. So very simple basic scene. Then we can create few more elements. This is simple sweep with rectangle and you can play in sweep with start grow and end grow to create this kind of geometry the same logic for another elements and this is our scene the last one is capsule with incondensed material simple incondensed material and it lights the screen because I have brute force enable. Let me unhide it. And we can go to next level. Cloner, cloner, and one more cloner. Here we have six elements inside. And this is simple sliced tube. If we have 60 degrees, we will have no this kind of separation. So I add small gap. And then we add this type of elements at the top of the tubes. The same logic for outer. We have tubes, sliced, torus, 
almost the same logic. And then we're going to git bash zone. It adds detailed elements in same clones. And this complex geometry you can buy, of course, on Gumroad or ArtStation, or I'll put the link to the free sample kit I use in this project. So it adds elements here, at the top, at the bottom. You see that our screen, uh, that our scene became to be more complex than it was. And small elements at the floor. They contain very simple, basic plastic material with roughness and no textures at all. Let me clean the unused material. And we can replace. So we can use dark plastic, plastic with roughness, in condensed with no texture and in condensed with texture in alpha. And then we have flare that loaded into the color with ramp. And in alpha, you can shrink down the alpha like in levels. The same logic for dots, for cell render and glass. I show you that one texture into bump and into the ramp. Then we can go to next elements and this is the 2d effects one flare second a lot of segments with dots that are blurred with depth of field and i use this type of bokeh with unit density it creates light dispersion at the side. One more polygon at the center. And then we have glass elements all around the scene. In glass, one more thing I forgot to mention. I use preset water, decrease dispersion value. The lower dispersion the higher light separation it gets. 1.5 I use in this case. We see this rainbow effect. We can disable our dome light. Going to lights. And now you see that our scene is lighted only with incondensed material. I add few more. This is the round torus and area lights that are cloned inside the tube. Also, we have orange sphere light at the top of our screen to create this inner glow from this kind of reactor. Then we have lights at the side. blue light at another side one more light at the bottom so it creates orange light from the bottom of the screen of the scene and dome light with grayscale gorilla pack that adds overall lighting in this composition this is very simple texture. Let me hide our geometry. One strong at the side and few smooth lights at another side. You can buy this pack or recreate this type of lighting by creating everything with area lights and textures. So let's go back to the camera on all our elements. When I enable all elements, you see that there is no post-production and the result you see on the promo image 
is the same and clean that we get in render. Maybe I add few more contrast vibrance effect, but the basic is done with redshift and almost no post production. You can build it directly in Cinema 4D. This is everything I want to share with you. I'll upload project to my Patreon page without this HD ray because I can't share it and you will find all links to materials I use in this scene. Thank you for your attention.